Hello fellow adventurers and collectors, Filmaholic here, and today's episode of The Things That I Bought That I Shouldn't Have. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of context that has to go into it. There was this line that I used to collect called Gangster's Kingdom, and to me they were very versatile figures. You could pretty much put them in any scenario that you wanted. So I don't know what uh, came to mind, but I actually felt the need to buy a, buy a couple of them again, because like always I had sold them for whatever reason at the time but you know uh it's relatively easy to get back into these figures so i was fortunate enough to find a couple listings that i went ahead and picked up so first off there was this lot of figures that i didn't think i was gonna get i sent the guy an offer but he was willing to accept it so uh, i guess it was uh to my benefit <laughs> uh, the most recent pickups i actually never had in my collection previously so kind of like my GI Joes I uh, was starting off with characters that I didn't necessarily necessarily have to begin with and in my original collection I want to say I only had two heads and a recast of one of the other heads so it's nice to actually have the real deal here so and I don't know the actual card names to these characters, but I do know that that one's supposed to be Danny Trejo, and this one is supposed to be uh, Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. So, as you can see, the previous owner didn't have them in the original clothes, which is fine by me because that's something that I wasn't gonna do either. I was gonna make them like a military unit, or like I did in my last collection, was to just have them as a generic person that I could bring with me on whatever adventures I go on so and as you can see it came with a whole bunch of uh, extra accessories which is, which is always nice and this military vest which has a weird method of attaching it has like clips in the front so I'm curious as to whether or not that's more practical or what so and um, like I always do with uh, the lots that I buy I go through the items and see what I can use and what other items I can either sell or give away to other collectors because I don't necessarily use uh, desert camo in my collection because most of my area is woodland so it would be weird for me to just have some random guy in des desert camo so I try to stick towards uh, woodland camo if anything for my more modern figures as for my GI Joes I just take whatever I get and uh, what looks good on them so that's kind of the mentality behind it so it's always good to get a variety of items when, uh, whenever I can. It's so few and far between nowadays because people just part things out differently. So, been tough trying to find those lots for a good deal. So yeah, I was uh, definitely not anticipating getting this. To be honest with you, I was just sending an offer and trying to see if he would take it, and let alone he did. <laughs> And oddly enough, it came with uh, some weird accessories that I don't necessarily know, and I'll bring up here in a minute, but as you can see, it came with some other Gangster Kingdoms parts that I'm curious as to whether or not he uh, had other figures or what, because there were certain pieces that are from newer releases or older releases. And I want to say these shoes came from the Pulp Fiction set, I'm not entirely sure. But they're very nicely detailed, so I will use them at some point and some custom at some point. So there were these caricature-like feet. I'm not sure if this is a Gangster's Kingdom item. If you're familiar with the line, let me know because I don't think I've ever seen that before. So I'd be curious to know the backstory behind those. And this weapon I thought was a Gangster's Kingdom uh, weapon, but it's actually a 21st century toys uh, assault rifle or uh, I'm not an expert on guns so I just go off of my Call of Duty knowledge so bear with me there. So as you can see it came with some extra hands which is always nice and the wrist pegs as well because I uh, end up losing those a lot. I don't know, I'm not sure why. And I want to say these gloves came with Billy but I'm not entirely sure so if you know please leave a comment down below because I'd be curious to know. 
And like I said, I was going for more of a military look with these guys. So this is their uh, recent look that I put together. You know, it's not perfect and I'm definitely, it's definitely not up to date because I actually changed them already. So I'll definitely showcase that in a future video because uh, I want to do more of these uh, kiss, kit bashed Gangster Kingdom figures. So we'll see how many I end up getting. <laughs> So yeah, I wasn't necessarily done. I ended up buying this from Black Ops Toys because this was actually a character that I really wanted when I first started out collecting these guys and that figure was unfortunately so rare that I was unable to get it so I had to settle for a cast of the head and you know, say what you will about that but that was a exclusive a way back when so I never thought that they would actually re-release the head so I'm grateful for that. and. I got too excited and I dressed him up as uh, the character I envisioned, so this is Greg. He has the same name as I, so <laughs> it's a not, a, not very often you have a character that has the same name as you, so it's pretty weird in that regard. But yeah, I really do like how this came together. I used some parts that I had kept from my previous collection and yeah, I really do like how it came out and I haven't settled on what weapon he should be using because... I realized that a lot of the Gangster Kingdom's hands are in a C position, so it's hard to kind of get them to stretch out. But here are some shots of the characters outside, and I forgot to do Danny Trejo. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but you can see uh, the Samuel L. Jackson character. And as you can see, I already changed the pants back and forth. I was trying to figure out what look to go for for him. But yeah. I had more of a clear vision when it came to Greg because I, that was one that I was actually buying first and then I came across the lot so it's funny how that worked out but like I said this is a line that I'm gonna kit bash together and hopefully create a story behind it so if you're interested in that please let me know by you know liking commenting and sharing the video so Thank you all for watching, and if you feel so inclined, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. I'll catch you all next time.